Hey everybody, it's Jeek here and this week we have been very lucky and we have managed to get our hands on a beta version of the Battleist drift bit. So I'm going to put a quick video on here, give you a little introduction to what it is and then we are going to get it fitted onto my S62 V8 powered E34 and take it for a little test run to see what performance it can give us. So after having a look at that video and getting quite excited, I uh, headed over to Battleist.com website to check out the installation guide. Now I have to be honest, I was pretty much expecting this to be relatively complicated and fairly in depth, but the instructions did say that it would only take 15 minutes to do this installation. Skeptical I was, I went for it. Let's see how we got on. So we have got the wheel off. Now in time. Time to start installing the steering angle sensor. So, what we've had to do is just quickly whip the steering arm off. We're going to put one end of the sensor just on the steering knuckle here, and then whip the other arm off, other side of the sensor, right at the back of the lower control arm. And then uh, we'll run the wire into the car from there. So, let's get that done. 12 seconds later. Okay, so it does actually seem that this does only take 15 minutes to install. So, you can see down there is one sensor and then two sensors. So, the one's on the lower control arm, this one is on the hub where the steering arm meets, and then the cable is run in. Conveniently for me, my car is full of holes, so we've managed to just go straight in, into the car, and now we are ready just to fit the final unit in. A few moments later. So this car all back together again, a nice pair of 265-35 Yokohamas slapped on the back. Oh. Mind how rough this thing is when I get it out. But we're going to go and try a new drift bit. Let's see how it goes. So, just before I head out on track, there's this one little quite cool feature I want to show you. Perfect if you're the sort of person who sits with your mates down the pub and argues about who's got the most steering lock. I've got the most steering lock. No, you've got the most steering lock. So anyway, this allows you, basically put it on, you turn your car from all the way from one lock to the other, and it gives you your maximum steering lock, which in my case was 46 degrees. So anyway, let's get in the car, see what happens. So I've just been out for a first shot of my car with the drift bit fitted and it is pretty damn impressive to be honest. It's uh, a bit of a shame that Driftland doesn't really show up on any of these maps, the Google Maps or Apple Maps or any of these yet. So it sort of looks like I was just ripping around a grassy field there, but I think I got an, a maximum speed of about 86 kilometers in the wet and 60 odd degrees. I don't know, you'll see it in the, the telemetry which I have recorded. So really impressive, I think there's big, 
a big market for this sort of thing coming up, especially in competition driving. Um, hopefully, obviously, I've got a beta version in just now, so hopefully, the they will be able to get the price down a little bit on the consumer items. But yeah, top knock, top work, drift back guys, Battleist guys, excellent. Like really, really enjoyed that, and I'm looking forward to using my car properly in the dry and getting some various different uh, sticky tires, West Lakes, Achilles. Try ACs, etc., and seeing which one gives you the most speed. Actually, looking and seeing which one will give you the most speed rather than saying that one gives you the most speed because they sent me two free stickers with my tyres that I bought. So, yeah, interesting. Thanks very much, Battlist, for the beta. We're going to keep testing it and we will make another couple of videos probably over uh, the results. So, thanks a lot. See you next time. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all those sort of YouTube -y things and uh, stay in touch, hit the bell thingy button thing if you want to see the updates as they come out, so awesome! Ta.